Good day, good day everyone, and welcome to Ops first OS video tutorial. I'm going to be going through the basics of setting up a new song for the editor and timing it. Now we'll just open up OS, and I have my MP3 we will be using on my desktop to add that. You just need to go into edit mode and drag the MP3 into the window. There we go. I'll be using Make or Break from the Subarashiki Konosekai soundtrack. Before we begin, you'll want to go back into the options menu to make sure your universal video offset is correct. To make sure it's correct, you simply hover your mouse over it and listen so that there's no echo in the ticks. You want them to align perfectly by adjusting this slider here. I've already got mine set, so we'll we'll go back. As soon as you open it up, you're going to get this dialog here that says all the metadata for the song. I'm going to start off making the easy difficulty because it's easier to make. We'll go over to these tabs here which will let you adjust properties to the, uh, the beat map and I'm going to drag the sliders to the left towards the easy mark to make the song easier for people as it is an easy beat map. And we will just set that there. You'll, you can play with it during your creation. I'm just going to set these here for now. And now we start at the timing menu. Basically, what I prefer to do when timing a song is just to let it play for a little bit and listen for the beat. It's typically going to be a kick drum or a snare drum or something like that. Fortunately, the Subarashiki Konosekai soundtrack tracks typically have an easy beat to follow. So I'm just going to listen to it for a little bit. And once you're ready to start timing it, just rapid click the tap here thing to the beat. I'm going to do this all in one take to give a more live feel to it, I guess. So I'm going to start. And you just stop whenever you want to. Alright, next it's around 129 beats per minute. That's probably not accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the start of the editor and it starts right there. So what we want to do is set the offset, finding the first beat in the song. So I'm going to set this playback rate down here to 25% and that'll make it play at a quarter of its natural speed. And then I'll just let it play from the beginning and here we have the offset starts right around there. So if we look in the design panel, it'll give us the exact milliseconds of where we hear the note. And it says 481, so I'm going to go into my timing panel and click the timing panel setup. It will let me type in 481 right into it. Now I just rewind it and listen again. The first sound of the beat should be in the left where the circle hovers over this dot. Listen again. That sounds pretty solid there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it play for a little while. I'll speed it up a bit. I'll let it play to make sure that the beats are still following in. So once the offset is correct, you're going to want the beats per minute to be. And we can hear that this circles a bit behind the clicking of the metronome, which means our BPM is too low. So I'm just going to throw a guess there and say it's 130 because it's close but not correct. And even though we can hear it syncing up right now, it may fall out of sync later on, which means the BPM is slightly behind. I'm going to skip ahead by scrolling with the mouse wheel. And we can still hear the circle clicking with the drums. Scroll a bit farther down. still sounds synced up. Let's check it near the end. And by sheer luck it seems we've gotten it right already. When you're first starting out you're going to want a song that's a very popish or a very techno-y song. One that has a distinguished constant BPM. One like this which where it's quite easy to find. Alright, that's it for now. We'll go back into 
creating beatmaps at a later time. We'll start next time on the composition of the beatmap, where you want to place your notes and how you beat space them and all that. For now, we have our map timed. 